So for your pan flute, you'll calculate, you'll have four different straws that you'll calculate, and depending on what your lengths end up being, you could maybe get away with using two straws in this. And as you do that, maybe, maybe even less, as you do that, you'll tape the bottom end and leave the top end that you'll blow across open. You're dealing with one end closed and one end open, and so you're using f of n equals nv over 4l. So to rearrange that for L, you have your f of n equals n v over 4L, and you'll multiply both sides by L, and that'll bring the L over to the other side, and then you'll divide both sides by your f of n. And what that will end up giving you is L by itself on the left-hand side, n v over 4 f of n. And so what you'll do in setting that up and calculating it, n is 1, our v is 340 meters per second, and then you'll divide by 4 times the 440 there. And when you're doing that, again, you want to make sure that you keep the parentheses on the outside and use the regular times on the inside, or that you take and calculate it first and then divide. And when you divide that out, you take your 340 divided by this whole number on the bottom, you end up with 19 point, or sorry, 0.193 meters. And in order to get that into centimeters, you'll have 19.3 um, centimeters. And so what that would mean for this pan flute, that if this happened to be, you know, whichever one this would happen to be, is that you would cut that straw to this, to the length that you have here. And after you've done that the four times, then you can tape the straw together the straws together and have a nice little pan flute across the top.